Hello, this is Tyler Beamer from Haywood Community College. The purpose of this video is to show students how to find standard deviation um, on Excel. Um, calculating standard deviation by hand can be really tedious and time consuming. So I highly recommend that you use Excel or your graphing calculator. Um, to find standard deviation, I did put a, a video on Moodle that shows how to find standard deviation using the graphing calculator. Um, however, Excel will also calculate it for you. So, um, what I've done is I have pulled up um, some data from a My Math Lab problem in Excel. Um, you want to start all functions in Excel with an equal sign, so equals, and then start typing in ST and then you will see standard deviation and there's a standard deviation dot p which is population standard deviation and then standard deviation dot s which is standard deviation for the sample and since we have a sample of data we want to choose that so double click there um, and then highlight the data that you want to take the standard deviation of in the parentheses and hit enter and it will calculate it for you. It's that easy. So I'll show it one more time. <coughs> so this is for the Midwest counties. So equals stdev.s. Double click. Highlight the data you're taking the standard deviation of in the parentheses. Enter. And then you. Um, Excel will calculate that standard deviation for you and that number will be given. So, um, And like we said in the notes, the higher the standard deviation, the more variation and more spread there is in the data. Um, so since the East Coast counties has a higher um, standard deviation, um, there would be more variation, more spread um, in that data set. I believe this is representing housing cost. Um, so there's a lot of variation in the prices of homes on the East Coast as opposed to the Midwest, uh, which as you can see are kind of all centralized around um, the 90 mark. So um, definitely use this on your homework and in quizzes on my math lab. And if you have any questions, um, as always, email those to me. Um, have a great day.